outside, I wear a bib or something. You gonna get up there on porch and get some goodies? Angie got her roadkill. Hope she's happy. Minus four degrees and it's snowing. It's so weird. Hi guys, are you all warm enough? Bob this morning and it's really cold. It is cold. It's chilly. We went to bed last night, it was zero. I was up in the middle of the night, middle of the night stoking the fire and it was negative 11. And then this morning we get up and it's negative 15 at the house. It's negative 17 now in the car. Yeah. It's just cold. It's chilly. A little bit chilly. I don't. I still, I don't know, this, this doesn't deter me. I still love this area, I love this place. I love living here. And he's still in shorts. And I'm still in shorts. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to Bob, I'm gonna have a hot coffee. No. I don't wear shorts outside all day long. If I'm gonna be outside, I wear a bib or something. But I wear shorts because I enjoy shorts. I enjoy my shorts. You know, you wear a bib. People don't understand that. What's wrong with a bib? Bib under your chin? But it goes up to my chin sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> a, a bib is it? Carhartt overalls. That's Alaskan. I wear a bib. It's not Alaskan. That's everywhere, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Some people, when you when you say you wear a bib, they think you're a baby. You wear a bib. You're fine. Night. Night. Is that everywhere? Does everyone wear a bib? <laughs> are they bib? Are they car hearts? Are they overalls? Are they what else are you I call, call them my car hearts. You call them your bibs. My bibs. Alright. This is a room in Bob that the girls use on um, Saturday mornings. Um, the place is actually open for men in the mornings, but they allow us women to be here in one of the back rooms and it's pretty cool. And I'll just show you around a little bit of this room. Maybe later I'll show you the rest of the building. So I'm the only one here right now. Um, Sometimes people show up, sometimes they don't. It's just a thing. And so I'm going to sit here and do my journaling and my devotions and drink my coffee and enjoy myself for a while. Wait to see if anyone shows up. doing in this cold huh you doing okay everybody's doing okay all right
loose. But I know it's said. Here comes Angie. Filming the moose by the woodshed. <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna get up there on porch and get some goodies? You could hop in the freezer. It's right there. Lots of squeaky noises. We got a roadkill call, and it's minus 15 degrees right here where we're at, and we're gonna go. And it's dropping. <laughs> and we're gonna go. Um, hopefully, just pull a pull a moose up onto a trailer, and which we don't have. So we're, we have to wait for someone. Hopefully, and then I don't know if we have to deal with it tonight, or we just gotta see what condition it's in. Whether it's gotta be gutted tonight. Whether it's frozen solid. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty new at this, so we're gonna lean on our son in law. He's, he's, he's experienced, so we're yeah. gonna lean on him. We need, somebody put us on this moose kill list last year. That was me. We need, and we need meat. We've never really been ready for it. <laughs> we weren't ready, but it just, when it happens, you go. Hopefully this one is a lot, otherwise it might not be worth it, because it is cold, cold. That's it for right now. Alright. has got hit by a car. I guess this is why I'm <laughs> usually I would peel the this is so small I'd mm. peel the belly and then spill all the guts out and flip it over guts are over there moose is over there mm. and then we'd start doing this but 
there's a method they call the gutless method and uh, I've never done it where they, they harvest everything without busting the belly open until the end and then you bust it open and pull your ribs and back straps and stuff. But that's a deer thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well it would work on a moose. Hey friends, we're back. We are we are done for the night. We're not done, we're done for the night. But we left at what, 11, 11, 11, 11. Yeah, 11 we did. degrees. Yeah. Um, it's now 1.30 in the morning. So we're heading back. We got it pretty much quartered out. Um, everything usable on the, on the main body that we can. Um, and the rest we'll deal with tomorrow afternoon. We have a lot of stuff we're doing tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Well, our son will probably deal with most of it by the time we get there. So, but it's done. Angie got her roadkill. Hope she's happy. She's been looking for this for two years. I was looking, at, well, I wanted me, and I just wanted you to have the experience. <laughs> I've been there, done that. So, I want to, I just, I just want to haul full moose now.
Heidi? Stop by the IGA, got some salami, cheese, and one of these regular pork rinds. Yep. Some road snacks. Did you find your pork rind? Oops, you found it. Alright, now we're gonna head off and go visit somebody for a minute. Absolutely. Alright. And then this is Pile. What's this little kid pile doing? Are you watching Grandma's video? Yeah. What's happening? Oh, you haven't got to use your snow machining yet? Hey, who are those people? Wow, we weren't there very long, but. All of our tracks are already covered. It is putting down some snow. I feel like it's warming up though. That's what I just said. I feel like it's warming up. All this wet snow. We'll find out here in a minute. Minus six. It's usually warmer while it's sitting. Oof. We were stuck to the ground. I'm frozen to the ground. Well, it still says minus six, which is, you know, kind of warmer than it was. So we need to run, run, 
by the store right quick and go get some bacon bacon ends and pieces bacon ends and pieces beef or fat. or beef fat to add to the burger so it can be a little less lean it'll go a little further we'll run it back by here and then we gotta run home and it'll taste better yeah they're getting lots of burger out of it they're getting some bone broth they said it had 44 pounds of usable meat yeah 44 pounds of usable meat out of that little little moose so that's that's not bad for the effort that we had to go through to get it well mostly i feel like a lot of it was him it was his vehicle his trailer <laughs> his know-how we just got the phone call being gone all day we up, went up to Talkeetna and uh spent the day so we just got home fires out I just threw some paper in there got to get a fire going right quick it's a little bit chilly in here it's not too bad it's 41 so that's not bad at all and it says it's minus one outside and we're definitely getting some snow so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the stove right quick and then I gotta go take care of the chickens it's already dark All right, I'm going to run take care of the chickens right quick. I'm going to shut the door, give them a light, um, grab their food, take it inside, their food bowl, take it inside for tomorrow. And this should be, should take off. So here's the light bulb. I'm going to turn it on. And turn it off with the remote, back on. And then I'm going to put it, set it for four hours. And it'll shut off in four hours. So I'm going to go ahead and go take that in to the chickens. Ooh, we didn't get snow. We didn't get in trouble here yet. for eggs. We've got one egg in here. Oh, it froze. It's a frozen one. Just got one. How's our chickens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at their... I haven't been able to clean out their their poop bin because it's frozen solid. Come spring, gotta clean all that out. Anyways, I'm gonna hang this up here. Good night. Good night. Bowl, water bowl. It's 
pretty frozen. Yep, that's frozen. Water's frozen, so fingers are frozen. still cold out here. Definitely still cold. a little bit of coals in there and the wood had been in there drying out all day so good to go it's gonna shut this down a little see the top's not even hot yet because our fans aren't fans aren't going yet i'm gonna shut this and that'll keep the heat from escaping up the pipe and draw it into here so i think it's gonna be good enough for for now been out doing our chores uh today we uh worked in the driveway this morning shoveling we had to take a break we had to run into town go to a couple meetings and then uh, went and did some grocery shopping and then we're back home and david's actually working on finishing up shoveling the driveway and i'm working on getting wood i got this one and then i got the sled piled up over here and so i just thought i'd show you how we're doing on our woodshed because if you look back just to uh fall you remember this shed was completely full and we had quite a cold year this year lots of snow and cold so we have two rows there on the back and then a single row there and then these partial rows and a full row there so yeah it's gonna be it's going to be empty by the time the, the uh, winter's over. So I get like a, uh, three sled loads like this per week. And uh, that's pretty much what we burn per week. So, especially it's been pretty cold. But yeah, we've been below zero quite a bit. And uh, so it's been cold. We've been trying to, having to keep it a little bit warmer. And then uh, we did have a ton of spruce this year, just from uh, just cutting down a bunch of beetle kill. And uh, my son-in-law, um, they had cut down a bunch of trees on their new property um, to expand their yard, to put in uh, the uh, snow, mach snow machine track, which is also going to be the four-wheeler and motorbike track in the summer. Um, so they cut down a bunch of spruce and so we're burning more spruce than, um, yeah, we're burning a lot of spruce, which burns a lot faster. So anyway, that's a scoop on the woodshed. So I got to get back to work before I lose my daylight. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to try to bake some Irish soda bread on the wood stove in a Dutch oven. turned out really good. Good morning. So, yep, 
I've been, I've not, I've not gotten out this week except to um, shovel the driveway this week and do the chores. Um, I was hoping to get out and do a hike this week, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you. It's minus 12, so unless it warms up, probably not gonna be going out for a walk. And part of the reason that I don't go out for a walk when it's that cold is, you know, I can bundle up and um, stay stay pretty warm while walking, but I can't take Maddie with me, and she would be bummed if I went without her, but that's just too cold for her. Um, her feet, her paws get cold, and we've never gotten her any booties or anything like that, and it's just, that's just too cold for her feet. Anyway, I just got back from the gym. I'm just doing the gym this week, at least for now. It's not as good as being outside and breathing in the fresh air and the cool air and seeing, seeing the scenes and the, and the views, but still getting my movement in. All right, guys, got to head out and uh, take care of the chickens. It is negative 16 degrees, so whew, it is beautiful out, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Blue sky, sunshine. And uh, yeah, I gotta go and feed the chickens. And I've been having to um, go out partway through the day, bring their food in, thaw it out. I put some boiling water in it, um, get it all warmed back up, and take it back out to them and let them eat again because it just, it's been freezing. So, yep, here we go. Gotta go let them out. You need to go out too? Do it quick. this morning. I think we got one yesterday. Hi. Hi guys. Are you all warm enough? Did you all snuggle in? Yeah? You keep warm? I'm gonna go get your breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna go get your breakfast. You can stay in here if you want. It's cozy. It's warm in here. Not really, but probably got body heat from each other. Yeah. What about you two? Alright, I'm gonna go get your breakfast. Feathers flying. <laughs> out of the garage with uh, the chicken food and that was just a moose up on this hill you see her she's right there Maddie you wait all right the girls. We're gonna... Head back up here. Wait. There she is.
There's a moosey moosey. Hey, girl. This one. 